In today's video we're going to take a look at the slide valve that fits inside the steam chest and we're going to start with the buckle. So I've already made the link with the right hand thread so I was thinking about putting a left hand thread in, in the buckle so that we can get some fine adjustment for the position of the valve unfortunately I'm afflicted with this little voice in my head which keeps telling me not to follow the drawing be bold and non-conventional uh, this time that little voice is going to win ok so I've got my rectangular blank so this has got a square hole inside with sharp corners so rather than just mill a square and fill out the corners what I thought I would do is cut off the ends each side because we've got enough material to do two and then mill a slot and then silver solder this back on and that gives me my square hole so that's how we're going to proceed. Point one five over. That's better. Okay, that's that done. One on each side. And that machine goes to length to fit in. Okay, so time to silver solder these end pieces in. So I'm just going to clamp them in position with a bit of scrap. Bit of flux. It's nice and flush, so that should uh, keep everything in place.
OK, we can mill the external dimensions to size. I left these thick to give it a bit of support for milling out this slot. Ok that's them done, so now we're going to look at putting this hole in, so I need to drill and ream this 3 sixteenths of an inch which is 4.75 millimeters. I also need to put a cross hole in um, and this uh, position here because of an error on the, on the steam chest I need to move it over 6 millimeters. So that's what we'll do. So that's them done. Got the hole for the spindle and got a threaded hole on the side here. So it's time to make the spindle. So five. Or seven or six or seven. Or six and a half. Or seven. Bit of a taper. Okay, we'll take point or three off. One, it's not bad. Or oh, three, or oh, three and a half. So 
just over zero just over zero halfway between zero and one that should do so this end needs to be five millimeters Okay, I've made up a couple of uh, laps, so I've just uh, drilled and reamed a hole through here and slid it with a bandsaw. So it's pretty rough, but does the job. So I've got one which um, I will use 3 micron lapping paste and another one which I'll use uh, 1 micron lapping paste. So obviously I'll start with a 3 micron. Got some mixed up here, just with a little bit of alcohol. Okay, it's, <clears throat> it's O1 below, so we've got O1 to go. O2 below. Which is what we're looking for. Or two below. That's great. So this is the gland. So it should slide on there nice. Beautiful. So this has been reamed four millimeters. It's a sliding fit on there and I can't detect any play. So we'll just give that a final polish with the uh, one micron, which basically will take virtually nothing off. Okay, that's those two spindles done. I've just uh, relieved the corner on each one a little bit. Gone ahead and made these little yokes. And a couple of little clamping screws. So the idea is that the yoke fits into the groove in the spindle so we can fit the yoke into the buckle and fit the spindle 
and then they should go together. So the spindle is now prevented from moving actually, but it can rotate, fit the clamp and screw. Okay, so the clevis fits on this end and the clevis is held in the valve gear. Okay, so by rotating the spindle by means of the thread, the axial length of uh, or the axial position of the buckle and therefore the slide valve in relation to the clevis can be uh, adjusted be very finely adjusted and then when you've got it in the correct place um, got everything set up correctly you can tighten the clamping screw and I'll just get my Baco spanner my Baco adjustable I have it on good authority you should always use a Baco adjustable there we are so the spindle is now locked can't rotate so I did it my way and that's my solution to adjusting the position of the valve once we come to do the final assembly of the valve gear okay so here, here's the steam chest and the valve buckle just goes in there this is the gland which will screw in So I haven't done the uh, slide valve yet, but that's obviously where the slide valve fits. And we get that kind of motion. Except it'll be that way around. So next I need to make the slide valves. That'll be another episode.